I'm not an influencer, uh, so I'm going to do this in one take, and I'm not going to do any edits, but this is my general tool bucket. It's evolved over the course of, I don't know, probably three decades. I've had some iteration or other. Um, this is something that I bring pretty much to any job or, you know, just around the house. It's something I can grab easily, and I have most of what I need with the exception of power tools um, for carpentry or wood-based product projects. But it's just a regular five-gallon bucket with this husky, I don't even know what it's called, um, tool bag kind of thing. So I'm just going to go around to show you what I have. Um, got a chalk line, pretty standard. Carpenter pencil, always have more than one so I don't have to look for them. Usually I have them sharpened on both ends. One end would be a uh, sharper point for finish work and then the other end would be coarse for marking OSB or other stuff like that. Um, got a 3 8 ratchet for um, nuts on um, carriage bolts or lag bolts or whatever. Uh, Teflon tape, chisel, use this thing all the time for door strikers or just cleaning up. Uh, electrical tape, uh, broken piece of paint stick, I like these mostly because they're free. Um, they're also exactly an eighth inch, so they're a nice reference. They're shims. You can use them for all that kind of stuff. I got a whole one here. And nippers. These are awesome for pulling staples or just nipping shit in general. Utility knife. This one's old school. Uh, I like the little rubber overlay. Um, only problem with it is you got to pull the screw and separate the clamshell in order to flip the blade or change the blade. Um, the more modern ones that flip out and fold are a little bit more convenient. They have a clip for your pocket and they're easier to change the blade, but I've had that forever, so I'm kind of sentimental about it. Standard Stanley 30. This thing is cool. I don't really see these very much, but it's a combo. It's drill extension. It's magnetic down here on the end. Uh, pull the foreskin forward and this comes out. So you got a drill and a countersink and then over here you got a set screw so you can put any tool in here you want um bit uh it's a that currently is a torx 25 but if i'm working in something hard uh i can pre-drill it countersink it then drop in my flathead screw so it just goes in here and flips around so i don't need two drills or be taking shit in and out of a single drill just real fast speed square typical speed square for aluminum they're more durable more accurate four in one screwdriver uh this is i got these fucking thing got these everywhere around the house and all my vehicles got small and large phillips small and large flathead um never have to look for a screwdriver with those things i don't know where they've been all my life uh, line level, this thing was five bucks. I've used it a million times. It's great for um, leveling out uh, post foundations and uh, for sheds or fences or whatever. And, um, good length of string here. I mean, I could talk about string all day long. That's a whole other subject. Uh, obviously, if I'm doing paint work, it was a paint can opener. Obviously, if I'm doing paint work, I'm going to have other paint stuff. But I kind of like it because few people don't know, but that's a bottle opener. So if I need a beer on the job, I'm ready. Um, Sharpie. Sharpies should be everywhere. They're super useful. Eyes and ears I'll talk about in a second. Combination plier wire cutter. Handful of hot 16s. Obviously that's not for a job. Sometimes I only need one or two and so I got a couple there. Wood glue. And we're all... Okay. Now what's in this bastard? I always got gloves. I like to keep my hands baby soft, so I'm always wearing gloves. Um, these are good, Blue Hawk. I usually buy them three at, a, three at a time, three pair at a time. They don't last real long. It's a leather palm, but um, they breathe well. They fit me. They're easy on and off. They're not too expensive. And uh, when they wear out, I just chuck them. I don't know, that's not the best attitude, but um, that's how I do it. Those are good. Um, you know, note on that. When handling pressure treated lumber, I don't know if it still does anymore, I don't know what the current recipe is, but it used to contain copper arsenate, and that can get in your bloodstream and it's really fucked up, so I don't like to handle any pressure treated lumber without gloves on. This is my uh, Pansy tool bag, it's obviously not 
a real um, set of bags. It's just one side, um, but I like it because I can put uh, some 16s in here and some 310 deck screws in there. It's got a nice metal hammer loop. Um, a lot of the bags I see now for sale have a leather uh, belt loop, and I can't really imagine that lasting long, but this is steel, so this hammer slides in real nice and easy, and uh, it's riveted on, so it'll last. Got a clip here for the tape. That's nice. Um, and it's pretty much everything I need, nothing I don't. Slot for my pencil, slot for a Sharpie, whatever. Uh, framing hammer, nice hickory handle, made in America. Rough waffle face. Got that for Christmas when I was 14 or 15. Um, this is a pry bar. I call it a demo bar because that's pretty much all I do with it. I beat the shit out of a lot of stuff with that. Stanley, had it forever, it works great. Spare belt for my belt sander, I don't know why that's in there. Regular uh, household hammer with a smooth face. I, I like using that to uh, pound in uh, carriage bolts so I don't mar the face and have them rust. Uh, rag. Uh, I'll get to those in a second. Just a regular jar of random screws, different sizes, different coatings. You know, sometimes I only need a handful, and so there's my handful. Um, coarse sandpaper, fine sandpaper. This I use a lot too. Um, just a regular brush. So if I'm uh, sanding something off, um, when I'm done sanding, I just brush it and then uh, hit it with a wet rag and then it's ready for a primer or stain or whatever. Just a little box of wire nuts. That's come in handy. As long as I have it, I won't need it. That's kind of my theory. Um, so that's that. Um, eyes and ears. Okay, so these are just regular 3M. I buy them usually like five at a time and when they get scratched, I just chuck them. But they're comfortable. They don't fog up too bad. And uh, they do a good job. And they're not that expensive, so these are uh, EAR by Carboflex, and the reason I like them versus the regular foam ones, I don't know if that's focused. The um, the plug itself is a foam core, but it's got a rubber overlay, so it slides in and out of my ears real easily, so I can take them on and off super quick, and then just wrap them around my neck if I need to talk to someone or if. I don't need them. I can just so it's really convenient that way. Um, but these are my favorite. These are uh, shooting muffs. They have uh, omnidirectional uh, microphones and um, speakers, so you get the protection from the muffs, but it also will pick up sound and then project it below a specified uh, decibel threshold. And there's a volume knob on it, so you can control that. Which is good, but so basically what it is is they're and they're made for shooting. So you blast your gun, and then uh, you can hear range commands without taking them off. So I can run a circular saw or whatever, and then if someone comes up to me, I can I don't have to take them off. I can still have a conversation or still hear a car coming or whatever, uh, anything. Uh, they're really nice. They're not that expensive. I think they're like thirty bucks. And there's a jack if uh, I want to connect to my phone to listen to music. So that's nice. Um, only downside of these is they're, they run hot. They're, uh, so in the summer, I mean, I'm a sweaty guy anyway, but in the summer they're just, they're just too hot. So I can't, can't really use them. So then I just go back to the Carbo Flex. So, um, that's the kit. I'm not a pro. I'm just a home gamer, but this satisfies most of my needs for just kind of a grab and go. Um, and, uh, uh you know, like I said, whatever I'm doing, specifically um, I'd bring any tools that would be pertinent to that particular job uh, in addition to all of this so hope that helps